This is Twit. There was, again, a lot of interesting news about Google's announcement of a new messaging system for their Android platform. Uh, it was funny. I think it was on Saturday. Megan and Jason uh, covered this. They didn't cover um, the angle that we take on this podcast, but they they were. I mean, of course, Jason is Mr. Android. Um, they did talk about all the attempts that Google has made through the years at messaging, and they nothing they do gets traction. Um, iMessage is still sort of the industry standard for it just works. It's, it does everything people want. Uh, you get, you know, if you're an iOS user, you get the blue balloons and you, you, the, the, the two friends you have that are on Android, they get green, um, because they have to use SMS. Well, the, what the press picked up on is an interesting an interesting flaw that exists and has a lot of the press scratching their head. First of all, Google calls it chat. And what it is, is a standards-based extension of the existing SMS and MMS uh, using something called RCS which is rich communication services. And there's within RCS, there's this notion of a universal profile, which is the, is the sort of the set of detailed uh, uh, interactions and, and specifications within RCS to allow everything to interact. So that if all the carriers supported the universal profile of RCS, then everybody would be able to interact. And to Google's immense credit, what they have somehow managed to do, and it is kind of, it's phenomenal actually, is they've gotten, I think it's 34 carriers 11 somethings and two OEMs, maybe it's 11 OEMs and two uh, manufacturers to all agree and all support the universal profile for RCS. What this means is that Google, the forthcoming Google chat for Android will be universally interoperable globally and it was Verizon and and one other, I can't remember, two final major carriers, even they went with it. They dropped this notion of trying to differentiate themselves and go their own way. It's like, you know, no, we're doing, we're going to do this new chat app, which is going to use RCS. And sure enough, on the surface, it delivers an experience like iMessage, you know, multimedia, uh, return receipts, uh, group messaging, a lot of the things that have not been available before. However, it misses one arguably important feature. There's no encryption. Wah, wah. <laughs> and, you know, um, now, you know, thinking about this, I guess I can kind of understand that maybe Google can't solve this problem. Apple can because they manage the keys. Right. They, you know, they're the closed ecosystem and you're tied into Apple and iOS and they're pushing versions and everything and you know and again s stated simply they manage the keys um we've just been talking about how telegram has been recently and incrementally but now completely pushed out of russia yep. and previously was pushed out of china well
Google doesn't want their chat app to be outlawed by major segments of the globe. You know, China is big and Russia is, is huge. So I guess they, they probably decided, okay, you know, we're going to, we're going to finally come up with a way to give our Android users the features they want and not battle this, not do this encryption battle, which is brewing, just not have that be our problem. If individual users want encryption, they can use Signal, they, you know, they can use Telegram where it's legal, you know, they can solve that problem one way or the other. Um, but for most people, and it turns out that most people do all the studies show most people use whatever is the default chat app in their Android device. Very few people bother with a third party chat app unless they have some need or reason for it. So I think what Google is doing is is just saying, OK, we're going to by by pushing the standard to universal profile for rich communication services, even though there's no encryption, we're going to give people the experience they want. And lots of people probably don't care. Yeah, that's true. I mean, encryption to a lot of people still sounds like hocus pocus. And as long as it does what they want it to do, they'll use it. Although, Steve, I, I will say this. Uh, so I just came back from, from Rome. Uh, I had an international meeting with my co uh, counterparts from across the, the world. So I had a representative from the African nations, a representative from the Asian nations, a representative from the Euro European nations, the Latin American nations, the United States, and India. And they're um, all like like other versions of you? Uh, basically, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so cool. we... Uh, I, I'll be the Korea counterpart. So I'm, I'm at the headquarters and we all do the same work. But it, it was interesting because we were looking for a way to communicate with all of us. Uh, and we went through a couple different solutions. They didn't want to use Slack and, uh, you know, Hangouts was a non-starter for them. But every single one of them, except for the U.S. delegate, used WhatsApp. That's the uh -huh. big one. That's And they won't go anywhere without it. So I'm thinking, yep. unless you can offer more than what WhatsApp offers you're not going to crack outside of the u.s market that much um yep that that's just that's just a thing so google can make yet another client because they're really good at doing that they've they've done a couple since hangouts and hangouts is yep. still around and allo they they also yep. are giving up on by the way yeah, it's just like <laughs> okay fine that never happened that just that's didn't why, get traction that's why it's so hard for me to get excited about another google chat release because i think i'm thinking i know well in a three years they'll come out with one it'll be better and maybe it will have the things i want this time like encryption well it is nice and i and i thank them for moving the cellular industry forward a way of you know beyond sms and mms that had been the lowest common denominator essentially it was the lowest common denominator and so if nothing else, this has forever moved the cell the cell industry because ev everyone has agreed to support it, has has upped the ante now to a, a what is arguably a more useful, um, functional chat system, you know, as a new lowest common denominator. But as you said, at the cost of you know. You guys, your team can't use it because you need to have some control.